This is the missing key to developing your squats. Okay, let me explain briefly. A cue I heavily use to develop a client squat is push the knees forwards in both the descent and ascent of the squat. Something I will never say or cue is push your knees out. This is not a good idea. Alongside cues, I will give the client constraints in programming to develop this quality. The reason you want to squat this way is firstly, it's actually a squat and you are developing your knee stability, which helps to develop your quads and hamstrings. An approach to take when developing the squat is to reverse engineer it, meaning starting the effort from the bottom of the squat. We can do this with long pauses, for example. We can then shift that focus and effort onto pushing the knees forwards on the way up and increasing knee extensor strength. This will develop balance, keeping the load stacked through the rib cage, hip, femurs, and into the midfoot instead of squatting with your lower back. This balance and effort over the midfoot is optimal for force production, which also helps the glute and hips to create force when required. If your knee extensors are weak or weaker than your hip and glutes, then you will find you shift your weight back into your heels and prematurely extend your knees when coming out, out of the squat, almost getting folded by the bar. This is a major issue because it's poor loading and poor balance, plus you will not squat much weight like this. You are unbalanced and you cannot transfer force effectively. We can develop this quality and motor patterning without the barbell. This is called compartmentalizing, using another similar movement to develop the quality you want to carry over to the main movement. You can't just keep hammering the barbell and hope the technique gets better. Use another movement or another skill development or something else to develop the motor pattern and you want to see in the main movement with the barbell. My favorite way to do this is with FFE split squats, knee over toes bias. The aim here is to develop that midfoot pressure and balance whilst ex increasing knee extensor strength. We can also benefit from keeping the rib cage and hip in a better position and not overly hinging your squat. Things you want to focus on in the squat are keeping the rib cage and hips stacked over the midfoot, pushing your knees forwards as you push down into the ground to stand up, not letting the knees shoot back or the hips shoot back behind the bar as you stand up out of the squat. Thank you.